All right, this is Big Dogs Porting over here, and today we have a little flow video on comparison. A customer um, was getting some quotes on some port work, and he wanted a stage two GT40 intake manifold, stage two GT40 uh, three bar cylinder heads, and I asked him what throttle body he was running. And he said a stock throttle body. I asked him what headers he were running. And he said, um, I believe that we, there were some BBK headers, shorties. So I suggested to him, you know, to make the most out of his, his combo of ported parts to go ahead and either send in his stock um, HO throttle body or upgrade to one of our ported 65 millimeter throttle bodies right here uh, also to either send in his bbk shorty headers or upgrade to our ported stainless steel um, shorty headers so he's i guess went to one of the forums and told the guys what we suggested and they pretty much laughed at him now this is a good example of why a lot of you guys um, are underperforming. You have to realize you have to get the air in and the exhaust out. Camshafts, custom camshafts, you know, 11R cylinder heads, whatever. It makes no difference if you can't get the air in and get the exhaust out. So, um, we're doing this test for him so he can see the huge difference in CFM flow between our ported 65 millimeter, not our ported 75 millimeter. Now, we sell the ported stock um, Ford 65 millimeters, and we also sell brand new ported 75 millimeter throttle bodies. This test is the ported 65 versus a stock. Uh, HO um, throttle body. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. We're going to flow it, flow these with this radius so we can get an actual flow. Just to show him and the rest of you guys is curious about the flow difference, what you gain with our ported 65 millimeter throttle bodies versus a stock HO. First up, we have the stock. HO throttle body. We have our fixture here that we use to test the throttle bodies. Um, for those that don't know, our flow bench um, takes the flow and calculates it to 28 inches of depression. So this is a apples versus apples. Um, same flow bench. We're going to be using the same fixture, same radius same everything so let's see what we have with the stock ho throttle body so you're looking at about we're gonna say we're gonna say between 620 to 625 CFM. Okay, so we're gonna pause it and set up our ported 65 millimeter throttle body. We have our ported 65 millimeter throttle body set up, same fixture, same flow radius. Turn it on and see what we have. Looking at about nine. Gonna call that about 910. So 910 CFM on the ported 65 millimeter. Now, this is not a special throttle body. This is not one that we have just for video purposes. <laughs> this is actually a customer's throttle body. Um, like I say, when we flow test and put these videos up, we're flow testing actual customers' parts. 
these are customers parts not special in-house parts that you know we put a thousand hours worth of porting into just for video purposes no these are customers parts this is no tricks this is the radius this is the fixture so that's a huge difference that's a huge difference and that will show up on the dyno um, once the motor gets to the point where it's ready to rock and roll here you go so see you guys at the track